Hi, I'm Nancy Hatton with Montessori Tide School. I'm the elementary teacher here at Montessori Tides, Jacksonville Beach, Florida. And today we are going to have another grammar lesson. It is the first lesson to introduce the part of grammar of the article. So this is an impressionistic lesson. Most of the Montessori elementary curriculum, the initial lesson is usually given as an impressionistic lesson. Started. All right, guys, thank you for coming to this lesson. First thing I'd like to talk about is this beautiful black pyramid. Can somebody tell me, can somebody remind me what this represents? Henry? The noun. This is a noun that represents the noun, right? And Katie, could you, do you remember what we said a noun was? We've had a few lessons. I think you know this pretty well. Um, a person, place, or a thing. That's right. It is a person, place, or thing. And when we symbolize our noun on paper, what do we use to symbolize the noun? Ned? A black triangle. A black triangle. What kind of black triangle? Do you remember? Good. It has three sides. It's equilateral. Equilateral triangle, that's right, we do. We represent our noun with a black equilateral triangle. Well, today I'm here to introduce a new part of speech to you. What I'd like to start with is I would like to ask um, Ned to take these out and arrange them in groups on our rug. Could you do that? Of course. And would these be nouns, Ned? All of them are nouns. Scissors are a thing. A button is a thing. Paper clips are things. I'm a person. You are a person. Mm -hmm. So are you a the noun? The bathroom is a place. So it is a noun. Yep. That's right. A a noun is a person, a okay. place, or a thing. Yeah. So now, these are old things. Let's see. Henry, could you please hand me the. You scissors. The scissors. Thank you. Katie, could you please hand me a pencil? know to hand me just one of those paper clips. You, you used A, which is a different article than B. Different article. Wow. You already know your articles. <laughs> you are right. When there are a group of things, I would use the article A. And when there's just one of those things, I would use the article B. Yeah. Or the. You may say it. The or the. That's right. And an article is a part of our noun family. There's one other part of the noun family that we'll learn a little bit later. But our article are three little words. And again, we'll learn the third one in another lesson. But it is represented by another beautiful pyramid. Right? Only this one's teeny tiny. It's our little blue pyramid. Light blue. Light blue, that's right. It's our little light blue triangle, and it represents the article. I've heard the kids talking about the A and N. And N, that's right. That's the third article, and we will have another lesson, and I'll introduce that to you and when we can use it, too. So the article plays a very special ro role in our speech and our grammar usage. It is to introduce the noun. Dun da dun, 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 a noun is coming. That's right, Katie. You know. 